Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kurt Kirstein and I am putting together this little presentation to go over the structures of data and analytics specialization in the Master of Science in ITAM. I'd like to start off with just a little bit of general information about the data and analytics field and then I'll go through each of the, the four courses that make up the specialization to give you an idea of what we'll be doing in each of those courses. First of all, why data and analytics? Well, data and analytics turns out to be a really rapidly growing field, and many organizations, both large and small, are finding that they're gathering data, whether it be sales data or other types of data, that they're trying then to use to help inform better business decisions, better business strategies. These organizations, like I said, they're big and small, and they include a bevy of different fields, things like retail, government, technology, biotech, airlines, and a whole host of other fields, all of which are gathering large data sets and are trying to find ways to use those large data sets in order to accomplish their goals. A good example is biotech. Biotech has been gathering large data sets for quite a long time, and those large data sets can be things like 25,000 genes in a single experiment, or thousands of proteins, or thousands of other data records that it requires uh, quite a bit of computing power in order to be able to process through those. So many organizations, many fields gathering data and wanting to analyze it. The only problem is there's a shortage of people who know how to do this and there's a shortage of people who can help these organizations accomplish their goals by analyzing their data. So this is the reason why this field is becoming so important. Not that long ago, we had limited tools, we had limited computing power, and we had limited abilities to gather data. But that's all changed. Now, the tools are available. Uh, many have been available for quite some time, but there are new tools all the time. And the computing power has basically caught up to the demand. We have computers now with web or cloud-based storage that will allow us to access gigantic data sets and process them in such a way that we're able to discover things that we never knew before. We also have great sort of expanded abilities to even access and gather the data um, with you know internet-based transaction processing or real-time data monitoring where we're actually fed data in a real-time way. So this has all changed and it's changed in the last five to ten years to the point where we can now analyze data sets that we wouldn't have been able to analyze before. And this is a big game changer for businesses large and small. So ITAM decided that they were going to address uh, this specialization at the master's level. And that is what the, um, is being, uh, has been created and what I'm going to go over. One thing that is important to note, though, is that while the specialization refers to just IT managers, it's really not just for IT managers. Um, this degree specialization is really useful for anybody who's working in a business and needs to have a better understanding of how that business can access and make meaning of data sets in order to make better decisions. So this is a specialization that will be helpful for managers and IT professionals at the same time. And as I indicated, large companies are hiring people with these skills right now, large and small companies, but large companies especially are really searching for people who have these skills. What kind of a job could you get with a specialization? Well, you could get a business analyst. There are many openings for business analysts. Um, data analysts, I've seen those openings as well. Um, and with a bit more work, um, there are, there's positions out there called data scientists. And while a data scientist may sound pretty lofty and inaccessible, it's really not. A data scientist is somebody who merges business knowledge, or the knowledge of how a business runs, with the ability to, to process, to collect and process data sets to help make meaning out of what the, the, the data that that particular organization is has been collecting. The idea being that, of course, the data scientist takes the data, makes sense out of it, and then is able to apply it back to the business that he or she understands in order to develop better and more well-informed business strategies. So let's talk about what we're going to study in this specialization. There are four courses, and the four courses are IT 682, Enterprise Analytics, IT 684, Approaches to Data Mining for IT Managers, IT 686, Approaches to Data Analytics for IT Managers, and IT 688 reporting data and analytics. These four courses really follow what could be referred to as the data analysis life cycle. 
The first one in Enterprise Analytics allows us to sort of get an overview of some statistical tools that we would use in a business in order to be able to really process the data. These are general statistical tools and there could be a very good brush up for somebody who has maybe been out of statistics for a while and just kind of needs to learn um, once again how those tools work. The other thing we do in Enterprise Analytics is we come to the realization or we're actually shown how many of the tools that we look at in data and analytics, many of the things that we do in data and analytics are really looking at the past and making projections or predictions for the future. So much of what we do, whether it's sales information or whether it's scientific information or population information, is really looking at what did we learn from what we've already gathered that we can apply to the future so that we can make better business decisions, etc. in the future. And that's really covered in Enterprise Analytics. In 684, Approaches to Data Mining for IT Managers, we'll talk about how do we get access to the data that we need. Data exists everywhere, and it may exist in a number of different formats. It may be structured, it may be semi-structured, it may be unstructured. And we may need to go out and mine data, or actually retrieve data, from various systems and bring it all together into a single analysis effort. So we'll talk about how we do that in 684. In 686, we'll talk about data analytics, and that's really kind of the meat of data and analytics. It's where we'll look at various tools and processes for taking a data set and making meaning out of it. And then in 686, we will look at ways that we can actually report out what we found in previous classes, such as 686. We'll look at how we can create things like PowerPoint presentations or dynamically updated dashboards that will report out what we're finding. A little bit more detail for each of the classes. Again, in Enterprise Analytics, we're going to be looking at sort of uh, statistical tools that we can use in order to be able to apply these things, both from a descriptive statistical viewpoint or an inferential statistical viewpoint, and make calls about what is going on with our data. So a little bit of this is going to be some more statistical tools, but again, we're really going to look at how we can use data sets to predict the future. So in this class, you're going to learn how to apply common statistical tools to business needs. You'll learn how to describe and summarize the data that an organization is collecting. You'll learn how to create data-driven strategies that are based on past business performance. And you'll guide an organization's direction based on likely futures as determined through data analysis. In 684, we really cover data mining, and we're going to be looking at how to find data, whether the data be structured, coming from a nice, clean Oracle database where all of the field links are known, as well as the field types, whether it's unstructured, partially coming from an Oracle database, and maybe we don't know as much about the fields as we would like, or coming from other sources, or whether it be completely unstructured, and that would be data that comes like a text or data that is it, it just it's kind of has no structure really to it at all. So we'll learn how to do the, the data mining, the retrieval of the data, and bring it into a place where we can begin looking at what it means. So in this class, we're going to identify sources of data, whether it be from the web, an internal database, or a stream of data that is generated in real time. We'll describe various machine learning processes and algorithms. We'll assess data for its usefulness in helping to inform business practice. We'll mine or select the best parts of data of a data set that are likely to answer key strategic questions. And we'll make meaning of the data to help organization leaders make data-driven decisions. In addition to learning data mining techniques, we're also going to cover the R scripting language. There are a number of key tools that are available in data and analytics. And two of the ones that we're going to cover are R and Python. So in this class, we'll cover the R scripting language I'll show you how to download the R scripting language and how to do basic functions in it that will allow you to do data mining and data analysis. In the next class, we actually begin analyzing the data sets that we pulled out of our data mining efforts. So we will look at various tools that will allow us to take a data set and find the best amount of useful information out of it. We'll do things like um, assessing a data set for obvious trends and patterns, categorizing data into useful groups using common practice such as clustering, applying probability theory to data sets to determine likely future patterns, creating predictive models of customer behavior through linear methods, finding hidden meaning in a data set that can guide an organizational behavior and uh, direction, and lastly, we'll learn a little bit about Python. In both the Python example and the R example, 
I do not expect students to become experts in just the short time that we'll have to be able to learn these tools. But it will be nice for you to be familiar with them and know how they work so that later on in your future careers, if somebody talks to you about either one, you at least are familiar with it. The last class we will, in the last class, we will actually look at data reporting. And we'll look at both data reporting from the standpoint of being able to put together a PowerPoint presentation that reports out the results of, say, a clustering algorithm or a text-based analysis or an optimization effort or even a forecasting effort. So these are all very useful, very business-oriented tools that will allow you to sort of make meaning of the data set and report out on the meaning of that data. But one of the things that's really popular and really useful um, is the concept of a dashboard. And the dashboard can either be a single sort of snapshot in time and it will show you various statistics about your data set, or it can be dynamically updated in the sense that the data gets updated on a regular basis, whether it be daily, hourly, whatever. It could even be real-time data that updates your dashboard, similar to the way that the stock exchanges are updated real-time. We'll learn how to build those and we're going to use Tableau. Um, we have access to Tableau in the sense that Tableau provides a student copy where students can download it and use it for up to a year. That way you can get familiar with a tool that is not only very popular and supported throughout the country, um, but it's also something that becomes a job skill that you can take to employers and say, hey, I know how to do Tableau. So we will do much of our work in this class in Tableau and you'll get a feel for how that works and how you can create a dashboard. So this turns out to be the perfect ITAM specialization. Well, first of all, you think about ITAM. ITAM blends technology and management, and so does data and analytics. While it might seem like a really technical field in the sense that you're looking at data mining from databases and how to process those using statistical algorithms and then how to present them using dashboards, it's all to support business strategy. So an organization is trying to access its data, make use of its data so it can make better business decisions. Um, whether it be, and, and organizations all over the board are actually doing this, um, trying to use their data to make better, well-informed decisions. So we'll learn the technical side of the house and we'll be able to then speak the appropriate language, use some of the tools to help managers make sense of their data and make those strategic decisions that they need to make. Trained employees, as I indicated, are needed today across the job market, and they're going to be needed even more going forward. So this is a great field to get into, and it's a great field to actually seek employment in. If you have any further questions about this specialization, I'm happy to take email uh, requests for information. My email, our email address is actually noted down there, and I hope to see you in this specialization going forward.